Y'all ready to find some relics today? Let's go get them. You see that bear down there? There's something down there going across the rapids. Look like a bear. Something black. I don't know. Bigger than a dog. It went off into the woods. We'll go down there and take a look at it. Maybe we'll find it. I think we scared it off. Water's a little bit murky today. But I think we'll still get some good underwater footage. Let's see what we can catch. Maybe a fish around here. I couldn't even see that bird. <laughs> Like a pterodactyl, ain't it? I actually never caught anything out here, but I haven't really fished that much. Oh, I got something. Oh, got one of them log fish. The big log fish. Let's see if we can roll it in. Actually, it may be a real fish. It, it is big for this little rod. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like a 30 pound catfish. Let's go over this way and see if we can get it in. Oh yeah, it's a big monster, man. It, it is really giving up a fight. Look at that thing. Oh yeah, man, this thing's gonna break my rod. Oh, come on, I got you, buddy. Oh, let's get him in. No, I'm stuck on something for sure. <laughs> let's paddle over here and see what we're hung up on. Just a tree limb. I guess I ought to stick to detecting. Let's get out of here. A little over two feet right here. We have some rapids ahead. They don't look too rough though. I don't know where that bear went. Seeing all kinds of crazy animals today, ain't we? We might want to jump off down here and do some attacking. Looks like a good area. Oh, rock right there. My detector out of here. Get all geared up today. Have my pouch, pro pointer, diving mask, wetsuit just in case the water gets cold on me, and my gloves. We're gonna go out here and see what we can find. I just located a really good signal here. First signal of the day it was showing up in the 80s, but it was a little bit choppy, so I thought it might be iron. I went down, raked some of the rocks out the way, and I see it. It's blue. Let's go down and take a look at it. Right down here.
looks like an iPhone 6. That is so funny. It's probably been there a while. It's waterlogged. Still, that's a good start to the day. Let's keep on going. Maybe we'll find some more. I just got another signal down here showing up in the 80s. Dug down about a foot and I just got it out the hole. It's another phone. I can't believe it. Second one of the day. I've only been out here about two hours. Let's go under. Looks like an Android. Don't think it will work. It could be a waterproof one. I don't think so though. Looks nice. Still pretty cool to find them. Iron signal right here. But it's some type of knife. Went down and looked at it earlier. Hadn't picked it up though. Checking out a new spot in the river now, and I was walking through and I eyeballed something right on top of the ground. I think it's another phone. If it is, it'll be the third one for the day. It's unbelievable. Let's take a look at it. Can you see it? Pretty sure that's what it is. Another cracked screen. AT&T. Everybody loses their phone out here, don't they? <laughs> That's so funny. Maybe we'll find one that works. Just a dime. Could be more in the hole though. Put it in the pouch. That was it.
There's some Memorial Penny. Well, I've been out here about seven hours now, and I finally found my first ring of the day. It's right down here in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's laying on top. <laughs> Sorry, that's not it. It's a really nice ring. Let's go find us another one. They're out here. Just got to swing over it. Somebody's been here. Now I've been here too. And a nice pocket knife. It's an older one. This will probably be one of the last finds of the day. It's about 7.30. And I have about a mile paddle back to the truck. But I'm going to try to search as many places as I can on the way down. found something really sweet here. I was getting a 40 signal on the AT Pro and I dug down thinking it'd be another piece of tinfoil. Well, I was wrong. It's actually another ring. Second one of the day. Let's go check it out. It's right down here. Wow. It's a Christian ring. It has the Lord's Prayer on it. That is sweet. Not sure if it's silver or, or what. I think it's stainless. It's a pretty big ring. Sure is. There's the Lord's Prayer all the way around it. That is awesome. Best find of the day right there. I guess we'll be out here a little bit longer than I expected. Maybe another hour. See if we can find anything else. Just found another phone. Fourth one of the day. This one, an eyeball. Right on top. Glaring through. A white glare. You can see it very well. Looks like an iPhone. I don't think it's been there long. This one has had a really terrible life. It's 8 o'clock now. I'm still out here digging. Heading back to the truck now. Been out here for 10 hours. It's been a great day. Have a bunch of water in my boat. Maybe an inch or so. But that's not enough to sink it. I have to dump it all out when I get back to the truck. Got all my waterproof boxes, my pouch, my detector, my rock picks in there. In the back I have all kinds of trash, spare shovel, backpack, cooler, fishing rod that I found in the river. 
I made it in from the river at about 11.30 last night. Yesterday was a crazy day. I got scared by a blue heron while I was trying to fish. And before that, I seen a black bear about 150 yards downstream. He was going across the river to get to the other side. And after all that, when I started detecting, everything just got phony on me. Found four phones in the river. Got two knives, two rings, and a bunch of clad. So it was a pretty interesting day. Let's take a closer look at everything I found. Here's pretty much everything I found. The thongs are all in terrible shape. This one would have probably still worked if I found it about four months sooner. It's hard to tell how long these things have been in the river. Here's a Galaxy S4. I'm pretty sure this one was water resistant. But since it has a cracked screen, it managed to find its way in there. and I don't think it will ever work again. Here's some type of AT&T phone. Not really sure the model, but I guess they got it from AT&T. This is a really interesting knife. It has a design right here. It looks like a parachute, and under it is a jaguar or a lion or some type of animal attached to the parachute. I took some pliers and pried the blade out very carefully. Didn't break off, so must not have been in the river too long. Normally they're all rusted up on the inside. It's a switch blade. Had a button right here. You'd push it and the blade would pop out. Pretty neat. Probably some type of military knife. You see it had a place there to attach your lanyard so you won't lose it. Found a Lord's Prayer ring. Pretty cool. Matthew chapter 6. It's stainless. Another knife. Here's a neat looking ring. It has two rabbits on it. A blue stone in the middle. And on the inside, it says number 240-89. Looks like it has somebody's name. And then it says Sterling. And a couple other markings in there as well. Can't make them out at the moment. I have just my normal change, about four or five dollars again. Seems like I find that amount every time I go to that spot. And over here, I have some of the trash. Aluminum. Lots of aluminum. And glasses. And that's about all. I didn't dig that much trash. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to get out here in the next few days and do some more water hunting. Maybe try out some different spots that I haven't detected yet. So y'all have a good one, and God bless.